application of converging lenses. So we use converging lenses in many different ways. So cameras, for instance, uses a converging lens. So do movie projectors and magnifying glasses. In science, we also use compound microscopes, which also uses converging lens, and telescopes use refracting lenses as well. The human eye is basically a lens. So it says how images are formed. So the human eye gathers light from objects. In a healthy eye, a smaller inverted real image of an object is created on the retina at the back of the eye. So our eye is a lens. And when this light beam goes down here, so the top of the flower is actually at the bottom, and the bottom of the flower goes and it's at the top, we get an inverted image, but your brain flips it the right way. It says electrical impulses from the eye travel through the optical nerve to the brain. The brain allows us to interpret the light signals on the retina as an image of the object. Eye muscles called ciliary muscles slightly change the shape of the eye lens. The process of accommodation makes it possible to create sharply focused images on the retina if the object is distant or nearby. So we use the muscles in our eyes to see objects close up and far away. And that's why they say is if you've been reading for a long time, you have to stop and focus something far away. So you need to give those muscles a second to relax and use different muscles to go far away. If you don't do that, we end up with eye strain. So especially on computers, computers are really bad because the light's shining directly into our eyes uh, and we're sitting very, very close and it strains our eyes and can do damage. So never ever focus too long on one thing. You have to change your focus. And you may find that if you've been on the computer for a while, you get a headache and that's actually why. So with eyes, sometimes we have some problems. So focusing problems. Sometimes the human eye is not able to focus on objects and create sharply focused images. There are three common focusing problems. So the first one's called hyperpia, okay, which is far sightedness. So whatever, if you're far sighted, that means you can see things far away. And the problem is you can't see things up close. The next one is presbyopia, okay? It's age-related farsightedness. So this is where Mrs. Mernick is right now. I had 20-20 vision until my 40s. And now, in order to see things up close, I gotta use these things called glasses. So it can be corrected with the use of glasses. And then the last one is myopia, which is nearsightedness. That means you can only see things near. You can't see things far away. Um, and that can be corrected with glasses as well. So there's three different things that problems that can go wrong with the eyes.